What's up everybody? Welcome back to RC Everyday. Been a little bit. Um, got this little gem here. These are from Easy RC. I think there's another brand name out there. I'm not real up to date on all this. I just seen a hard body RC that's small, 1 18th scale, and it's a square body Chevy, and it's a long bed, and it just looks cool. So the only preface I have for this is Jeremy of Big Squid had uh, done a review on one, and we were talking the other day, and he said, it's actually really nice. The body is super detailed. Um, I don't know about the chassis or anything. So these are kind of everywhere for sale and nowhere. I think all these are on the boats off the coast of Chal California right now. Um, I got mine on Amazon. It was $139 plus a little bit shipping. And I'll put a link below to it. The price has changed. Last time I looked, it was at $150. Some of these are available in a red and white two-tone. And I've seen those people trying to get $300 for them. I don't know about all that, but we'll see what we get when we get into it. $130, bucks, I mean, if it runs and drives and doesn't break and it looks as good as it does in the picture, I think I'd be pretty happy. And it's a square body. So <laughs> let's get this thing opened up. All right. Sorry about the echo in here, guys. I know it's a little bit different because of the shop being empty. All right. That body is beautiful, man. So we got a 70, what is that, a 73 to 79 front end, single headlight. Oh, dude. All right. I was worried the packaging is very thin, very flimsy feeling. Come on. Tape. Noisy plastic, it's noisy. Oh, you don't have a teeny tiny controller. Alright, what do we got? USB charger, which is alright, not bad, not bad. I'd rather have those than the ones that have every country's plug on it. So I've seen this controller before from a, was it a JJRC boat? I think I have. I already packed it. Never mind. We got trim adjustments for throttle and steering. Basic. No batteries included. You got to take a screw out to take the battery out. I hate that. Let's see the money maker here. Let's take it. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> all right, let me get all this plastic out of the way. So this thing looks fantastic. The body on it is pretty accurate. There's a few little things that aren't perfect. Uh, some of the fender flares and the hood ridge and the roof line are exaggerated just a little bit, but overall it looks pretty dang good. And uh, I, I got a little bit ahead here. It has a dash and a seat. It doesn't have door panels, but it's pretty complete interior. You got a bench seat. We've got Actual handles, mirrors, bumper grill, lights, blinkers. I like the black stuff. I like the blue color. It's kind of period correct. Um, the suspension feels freaking awesome. Now, um, it is four length front and rear, so it's not at least sprung, unfortunately. But it actually feels pretty good. The tires are super soft. There's nothing in them. You can tell there's no foam little bitty tires but so I've had a few of these cheap cheap RC I already got fingerprints on it dang it <laughs> and uh most of them like the even the WPL the little mini truck the wheels are held on with like Phillips head screws everything's self tapping into plastic we've got actual wheel nuts and <laughs> Uh, I'm excited to see what's underneath this thing. Let's look under the hood real quick. Apparently everything is under the, the hood. 
So we've got basic circuit board. I already pulled the battery out. Uh, I'm actually 7.4 volt, 5 cell, LiPo. I mean, it's teeny tiny, but that's better than a lot of the stuff that's come with the other cheaper RCs. So we actually have a LiPo. we got an on-off switch in here. You can see at the top of the servo, it has an actual servo. And listen to this. Nice, smooth, good, real servo. Um, can't say much else about the rest of the electronics because it's just a circuit board with a bunch of wires. And there's a couple extra open connectors on it. I'm not sure what those could be added to later. Maybe they're going to come out with some stuff for this. So, I'm kind of actually excited about this thing. Flip around back. We have the Pawpaw bumper. We have the actual old style diamond plate topped bumper you would get at Pet Boys after you back into a pole or something. And opening tailgate, which is very nice. We have a full bed floor, which is something still a lot of one tenth scale rigs don't offer. Um, I saw this since I don't, this isn't any kind of paid sponsorship or promotion or anything. I saw this on. Instagram the other day. I don't know. Oh, there's a protective film. There it is. Chevrolet in the tailgate. <laughs> but they didn't pay for that. So we're going to already threw that in the trash. <laughs> so supposedly this thing has working lights. Now, I don't think they blink and all that, but we have head and tail lights, which... This is 18th scale, 1 18th. It's pretty, pretty legit. <laughs> this, this is shaping up to be something that I could actually build upon. It's not just a one and done kind of deal where you just open it and drive it and, okay, that was cool. You've got the detail of an actual model car in 1 18th scale size. So there's a whole lot of 1 18th scale accessories and stuff out there. Um, typically for the die cast kind of thing. So we'll see what we can find. I know Ampro, if you don't follow them, check them out. Ampro Engineering, they, he's already made different wheels and roll bars and stuff for this. So there's a lot of cool 3D printed things available. Um, let's take a look underneath, see what we've got rocking here. So I almost don't want to lay the body on the table. The table's filthy. We have an actual scale ladder frame. We have a transfer case, trans the motor's on the transfer case. Drive shafts, four link. This is pretty legit, guys. I, I don't know what's inside of it. It sounds solid. Um, I don't know if it's plastic gear, metal gear. It would be awesome if it's metal gear. I'm not keen to tear apart tiny little things. My fingers are hurting from work, so. <laughs> We have a real servo, and it said on the box, I think it's nine kilogram or something. I don't know. Where'd it go? Servo is nine gram servo rudder machine. <laughs> Lithium battery shocks, ready to run 2.4 gigahertz. So, the shocks may, may actually be oil filled. So that looks pretty legit. I'm not gonna lie, this this is pretty dang cool. I don't know if there's any charge on the battery. Like I said, I just uh, opened this up. I got home from work and uh, wanted to check it out. Let's uh, plug it in and see what we get. I have to get a screwdriver and turn on the battery or take the batteries out of the remote, or put batteries in the remote. All right, we got flashing headlights. No flashing tail lights. We do have tail lights because you can see them inside the bed. You can see where the wires come up and go into the housing. So let me put some batteries in the remote. And see right. So it takes three AA batteries. I'm not putting that screw back in there. And uh, yeah, the blinkers do work. At least the front. There's nothing in the back. The back tail lights come on. 
as reverse lights for some reason. Nothing when you stop. But it sounds smooth. That's not even barely tapping the throttle. Headlights come on when you drive and forward. <laughs> All right, I gotta set up some obstacles because this thing actually doesn't sound cheap. All right, let's try some tires. That servo sounds freaking awesome. That servo sounds better than 90% of the Savok servos I've bought. <laughs> it actually works pretty dang good. Ah, uh, the hood keeps popping open. We get a run and start at. A little bit of delay. But there we go. With the uh, reverse on the controller, but a little three wheel action here. Look at that tuck. We still got three tires on the ground. <laughs> Back it up. Come on. Dude, I'm digging this thing. Fortunately, it's dark and there's nothing for me to go outside and film with this thing, even with its little headlights, but... Let's do some exploring because I want to see what kind of, uh, how the wheel fits on because I want to put wheels on it. Oh, is it the smallest? Second smallest. So we have an actual wheel nut, which is impressive by many RC standards. We have a beautiful body, nicely finished, and it does have molded into the body the trim so you, if you get the two-tone one, I guess, you could come back with a paint marker real easy and just paint that silver and have that Cheyenne package look. Wheels aren't, you know, factory, but they're uh, nice looking. And they're t teeny tiny. Come on. I wish I knew where my actual wheel nut wrenches were. We'll get there eventually, I guess. Unless I'm just turning a shaft. Oh, it's off. Okay. So, let me find the caliper. All right. Up front, we have what is that? Seven millimeter hex. So we have an actual hex drive. We have a wheel. It's at least two piece bolted together. Feels like a bead lock. These are, oh my god, they're actually Cooper Discoverers. STT Pro, and those look like uh, like some kind of budget weld racing wheel. <laughs> this is freaking sweet, dude. Oh, uh, let's pull this. If I can get this, uh, it's hard. This tiny stuff. I'm not gonna be able to show you all jack squat on camera. I'm trying to see. So there's a little pin. It's not a ball bearing. It does have a brass bushing in the axle. That's what I was curious about, but this is built just like the real tent scale stuff. That is freaking awesome. <laughs> I love this thing. Not disappointed at all. I was pretty much thinking it was going to be another one of those box warmers I got in there that back when I used to have a sponsorship deal with the website we won't name. Bang, <laughs> good. Uh, they sent me a lot of junk. And uh, a lot of disappointment was had. But I gotta say, this is actually freaking sweet. I, Jeremy didn't lead me wrong. He said it was a good truck. And I, you know, you never know. People that do reviews and stuff, you get something for free. You want to say it's good. And I get that, but I've tried to always keep it honest on the channel. Even with stuff that was given to me to do reviews on. But I paid for this, like I said, 140 bucks on Amazon. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this is coming out to Thanksgiving dinner with me at my mom's. I'm going to drive it around her yard. We'll do some filming out there. And, uh, uh this is going to be fun. All right. So, I still got the battery hooked up. 
servo sounds legit. All right, I've already smudged it. Might as well lay it on its side. We'll get a closer look at the axle. Right, so underneath, we've got two live axles. Again, four link front and rear. Um, we have solid shafts. Drive shaft, real long in the rear, just like a real long bed Chevy. Uh, I'm not sure if these axles are off of some other rig or anything. They don't seem familiar to me with some of the cheap stuff that I've seen around. Um, plastic steering links and stuff. They're a little bit flexible. Um, easily upgradable though. Everything, everything on it looks like it goes together just like a tent scale truck. So it's already vastly improved. There's not doesn't look like a bunch of crappy little hardware everything's got I mean it is Phillips head stuff so yeah but you got the motor on the transfer case in the middle and I don't know what size motor that is but it has a fair amount of torque I mean it is a very lightweight truck but uh it's got a real servo <laughs> this thing this thing is killer same story out rear Long frame rails, they're narrow, they're scaled to the body. It's not just some regurgitated 16th scale or 24th scale chassis that's been thrown underneath a, look, a nice looking body. It actually is designed to fit the body proportionally. The axles and stuff are proportionate. They look like 118th scale. Um, the front knuckles do look a little big, but they're, you know, they gotta be to be able to hold the hub and hold the power and stuff. Rear axle looks Looks freaking cool, man. And it's got actual Cooper brand name tires. That is freaking awesome. I have Coopers on my Chevy. I <laughs> three. So, uh, you could use a little detail. You could black out the underside. Use a little bit of light blue overspray. We have a quality control stamp that I've already smudged and got all over my finger. <laughs> you can see where the rear light wires come up and they go through the bed floor and into the lights. There's just nowhere to hide them. Um, so it is exposed inside the bed a little bit, but that's not not important at all. <laughs> the suspension actually feels good. I think those are oil-filled shocks. I'm not going to tear them apart right now. We're not going to take any of that apart until we break it. Um, the only thing I wish it was a little bit wider stance. The tires do tuck in quite a bit, but it's a double-edged sword because then your front steering when you flex and stuff, they would start hitting the fenders and stuff, front and back as you turn. So it doesn't allow for that. And it just, it looks pretty dang scale. Grandpa bumper plus 100 points. Realistic grill, and it's separate from the body. You got the blue paint underneath, black bumper. This thing is just sweet. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta go look on eBay at 118th scale model car stuff and see what I can find now. It has windshield wipers. I did finally peel the protective film off the windshield. You probably saw that in some of the uh, other first clips of it. But overall, this thing is freaking awesome. Super detailed. Feels good. I can't wait to drive it on something. Now I see why. I, I kind of gave Jeremy a hard time because he got this and they have a, I think a, uh, Land Cruiser 80 or 90 series, 90s model, and they've got a couple other bodies that are similar to this, and uh, he went all out and started building the 118 scale rock crawler course in his basement. I was like, bro, like, really for one truck? But <laughs> apparently these are actual functional crawlers. They're not just a look good toy. So that's my my take on it for now. Again, we haven't driven it. On the rocks or anything it's not going to be a great rock crawler because you know you're gonna to have to build a course scaled to this size everything i have up at my land is scaled towards one tenth but i'm excited because it's a it's small it opens up a whole new world of scale stuff 118th scale i mean there's there's been 118th scale models for a long long time i was real into the 118th scale when i was in middle high school age um, I was doing stupid stuff with diecast stuff, but there's a lot of stuff out there for 118 scale. Wheels, tires, I don't know if they'll work with the RC stuff, but like I mentioned earlier, Ampro Engineering's already got different wheels. 
roll bars, all kinds of stuff for this body, and I bet you there's going to be cool stuff on in the model car genre that will work with this. So that's my take on it, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. I'm excited about this thing. There's a link below to my Amazon store. Like I said, the prices are fluctuating. Right now, they're hard to get. Um, it is what it is. Um, if you buy anything through the Amazon link below, it does help out the channel. And appreciate y'all for doing that. It's not much, but it's honest work, as they say. Um, not trying to sell a bunch of crap that I'm not into. And if there's something I do a review on and it sucks, there won't be a link to it anywhere. So, um, yeah. And I'll just straight up tell you it sucks. And this does not suck. This is a kick-ass little truck. I, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. And I, there's so much room under the hood also. Let me just lie. Like, hey, bro, you left the battery in. Turn me off. So we got a lot of room in here. This battery is super tiny, and I'm really excited to see what kind of run times and stuff we'll get out of this. 7.4, 380 milliamp, 5C, LiPo. Awesome, and I have, with that connector somewhere, oh, I already packed them. No, I didn't, there it is. I wonder if this would blow it up. <laughs> I don't know. We'll try it on the stock battery first before we go to my Helios. I got a 600 2 cell. It's got the right connector. This, I think it's the right connector. Similar. It ain't going to work. Never mind. That is the connector for the SEX24, which I have not gotten one yet, which I almost did. I really wanted something smaller because when I go camping at my land and do the vlogs and everything, bringing five or six rigs, radios, backup gear, batteries, tools, plus all my camping gear, plus all my, all my landscaping equipment. You know, I'm up there cutting trees and weed eating and doing stuff like that. I don't have a lot of room, especially now that I've downsized to the, the Jeep Gladiator. Doesn't have quite as much space inside as my, my old Silverado does, so yeah, packing in. I, you know, I go up there when I bring one rig and I get kind of bored, so I have a couple little rigs maybe. So I'm excited to take this up there. I'm excited to camp and try to make a scale crawler course. I'm not going to do anything here at the house because, you know, the house is up for sale. Probably not going to sell now since the holidays are here. We're going to have to wait till the first of the year. So we're probably going to be unpacking some of the RC stuff so we can make some content because I've been missing making videos. And uh, this little truck has really stirred my enthusiasm again. This is a hundred times better than I thought it was going to be, honestly. You know, 130 bucks, I figured it would, you know, wouldn't have any torque. That's the problem with most of the budget little mini crawlers. They look great. Like, I've got one in there. It's a Land Rover Defender 90. The body's beautiful. It's awesome. It's got nice tires, decent looking wheels, and the chassis is the same garbage that's under 90% of all of the $50 to $100 RC cars. And it has no torque, no real servo. It has a gear box thing. You can add a servo to it, but then you have to change the board, the radio board, and then you might as well have bought something better to start with by the time you start upgrading. This little thing, servo out of the box, lipo out of the box, lights out of the box, perfect scale body to build off of out of the box. I think the aftermarket's going to go nuts with this little truck, and I'm excited to... Uh, start spending money because on these little trucks stuff's going to be cheap a set of wheels for these like even rc4 drive's got their new uh trail finder 2 mini and like the wheels and stuff for even their their other ones the 118th scale ones they're they're not expensive i need to look and see if those have the seven miller or a, yeah whatever hex size those are see if they'll fit on here because <laughs> then you open up a whole world of rc4 drive accessories and they have a badass square body but I'm going to quit rambling, guys. We're going to get this thing out on Thanksgiving and do some piddling around and see what we can uh, see how it does. But hope everybody has safe travels and spend time with your family and have some good times and uh, be safe out there. Again, if you're interested in these, there's a link below. Keep it scale, and I will see you all next time.